Hello, Annie Cod here, and today's video is a viewer requested one from the back of the Rust digital clock video. Up in the cards now. So here is the comment. Everyone say hi to Fawaz. He called me a legend. Look, right there. It says it right there. You can't take that back. And boop. Anyway, the video is a countdown timer based on the number of days left until wipe. It'll count down all the way to zero and we all know what happens when you get to zero. Okay, not that. But you can put a little light up and you can get it to activate when you get to your last day of wipe. And that is just as spectacular. Anyway, let's get straight to it. All you need for this build is a handful of simple components that include a power source, a splitter, a timer switch, a blocker, a branch, and finally a counter. That's pretty much it. All you have to do is start by placing the components in the order on screen now, and then all we have to do is wire up and configure it. So, it's very similar to the Rust Digital Clock video, except we're not setting the timer to one second. Instead, we're setting it to, yeah, you guessed it, 86,400. Okay, you probably didn't guess it. In case you're wondering, there's 86,400 seconds in a day. So every day, we need the timer to hit zero, output a flash of power, reset itself and start the countdown timer again. So, make sure your splitter is powered, and then we need to make sure you have power from the bottom of the splitter into the bottom of your timer switch. You then need to make sure the top of the power out from the timer goes into the side or block pass through of the blocker. The power out of the blocker goes into the power in of the branch and one of the branch outs, doesn't really matter too much which one, will need to go into the toggle of the timer switch. Finally, you'll need to make sure you have power from the bottom of your splitter into the bottom of the blocker. Blockers need power too. Finally, the remaining power from the branch goes into your counter module, into the bottom. And that's it, that, that's the hard bit done, it's that simple. You can set the output of the counter to output power at any point you want, but because of the interesting way that counters work in Rust, you will need to always add one to this number. For example, if you want the power to be activated on your final day of wipe, instead of setting it to 1, because it's your last day, you'll set it to 2 instead. I will show you this a little bit later on and show you why that's the case. So, you'll need to set the counter to how many days are remaining before wipe. Some servers are weekly, most are monthly. All servers are wiped regardless the first Thursday of every month. If you're struggling to find out, just ask the lovely people in Rust, they're always willing to help out where they can. Yeah, yeah, the funny thing she does. Anyway, you can set the counter lots of different ways. You can use buttons, lasers. I like using the pressure pads because they're fast. Just connect the power out from the button or pad into the increase increment widget of the counter and then run over that thing like your life depends on it. Once it's at the correct number, i.e. the days you have left before wipe, Connect the final branch out to the decrease toggle on the counter. Again, because of the silly way the counters work in Rust, anything you want to power using the counter will have to be done using a simple blocker reverse circuit. If you want a crash course on how blockers work, check out my blocker crisscross video. Anyway, with the blocker circuit, Instead of the light being powered all the way down to 1, which is what we set the counter to, it will instead do the complete opposite and stay off until the final day. Here's how you do it. Stick the blocker down. You will need an extra source of power for this. Simply put the power out of the counter into the block pass through of the blocker, and the power out of the blocker into the light or whatever you want activated. Yeah. That's, that's literally it. Now I'm not going to stand here all day. Let's reprogram the timer so it's only a few seconds. We'll even speed up the video a little bit and you can see exactly what's going on. So as you can see, every day the days will tick down while at the same time the blocker is blocking pass through to the light. Once the power hits the number we set the counter to, the counter will stop providing power and the blocker will no longer be blocked and allow power through. Just remember to set the counter power out to your number plus one to get it to activate on the correct day. 
and that's it. Just set it up, leave it to do its thing, and it'll be a lovely little reminder of wipe day. So you know exactly when to get your C4 gloves on and chuck that stuff around like it's smart as at a kid's party. Now if you're wondering how much all of this costs, it's actually seven. So a small battery can power all of this with ease. And that's it. It really is quite simple. Now, I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Again, it's been quite a short one. If you do want to make a suggestion on the next video, feel free to leave it in the comments down below and I'll get right to it. If you do want to see what I'm working on, you can follow me on the usual social media like Instagram, Twitter and all that other stuff cool kids use. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new at all, feel free to leave a like. And if you do want to see more of this sort of content, feel free to subscribe and I'll get these videos out as soon as I can. Again, you're all legends. Really appreciate you watching this far. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.